but in current scenario we all are susceptible to nihl due to heavy traffic noise and use of personal amplified music systems and mobile phones at a louder levels My name is Lijisha Ibrahim. I am audiologist and speech language pathologist at Metro Medical Center Ajman. Today I am going to talk about noise induced hearing loss. Noise is perhaps considered one of the most common environmental and occupational hazard. Noise induced hearing loss, shortly known as NIHL, is a sensory neural hearing loss that happen at high frequency and happening gradually due to high exposure to loud sound it is the second most common form of sensory neural hearing loss after presbyc uses that is age related hearing impairment it is usually considered as mild to moderate sensory neural hearing loss but depending upon the duration and severity of exposure severe to profound hearing loss is also seen causes of uh, nih include excessive noise exposure at workplace or in recreational activities hence factory workers are more susceptible but in current scenario we all are susceptible to nihl due to heavy traffic noise and use of personal amplified music systems and mobile phones at a louder levels this loud sound will affect the delicate inner ear structures that are responsible for normal hearing nihl progresses in two stages temporary threshold shift that is even with a high exposure to noise a short hearing loss happens and it results after a period of time continuous exposure leads to per permanent threshold shift that is permanent hearing loss due to irreversible damage caused to the inner ear symptoms include tinnitus or ringing in ears that increases with progression of hearing loss sleep disorder anxiety stress later stages includes balance problems when we look into the permissible level of noise uh, to avoid nihl permissible level of noise given by occupational health and safety act give, follows a 5 db rule that is with a 5 db increment in intensity of sound the exposure time should be cut into half in other words if a 90 db sound is exposed for 8 hours the intensity is increased to 95 db the exposure time should be 4 hours maximum permissible level is 115 db for 15 minutes uh with a single exposure to 130 db to 140 db permanent hearing loss can happen how can we prevent we can prevent by fostering a healthy lifestyle and improving environmental quality everyone should be counseled regarding minimizing the level of uh, sound while listening to personal music systems and mobile phones and use of ear protective devices while at noisy area next comes the occupational hearing conservation workers should be trained regarding the use of ear protective devices annual audiogram should be done for all the workers whenever there is a threshold shift uh, for further evaluation they should be recommended treatment of nihl first line of treatment include pharmacological treatment given by ent doctors second line of treatment include audiological management audiologist detect type and severity of hearing loss and recommend appropriate hearing aid or assistive listening devices if required to manage the communication problem presently there are varieties of hearing aid available depending upon the severity and type of hearing loss so to sum up noise induced hearing loss causes irreversible damage to inner ear main cause of noise induced hearing loss is occupational noise symptoms include tinnitus so if a pregnant woman is exposed to high level of noise at a workplace it may affect the hearing of unborn child so we have to protect our ears so for protecting our ears we have to use ear protective devices we have to minimize the level of sound while using earphones most importantly we have to seek immediate medical help when we are exposed to very loud sound which start at the hearing thank you